Hey, Teach. Hey. Hi. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Spark behind the camera, obviously. What up? <laughs> I'm here to talk about the Viral House. The Viral House uh, was designed because of hurricanes and tsunamis and things that are going on in the world, like what happened in Florida. Um, anyway, we need houses that can handle 300 mile an hour winds, and we need houses that can float and things, and that's what the Viral House is basically about. I want to get away from the square box house because I, it just it's, it's a wall. You ever drive down the road in a van and you got the wind coming from the side, you're going to start rocking because it's a block. So um, for homes that are going to survive high winds, you need something that's going to handle that shape. So we came up with this. Oh, I came up with this and then I brought it to other people's attention. Uh, and these windows, these can be 3D printed. It's what we want to do, so we're going to be building a 3D printer that will manufacture this from the ground up. You already have seen the 3D printers printing houses, but this will be done with uh, each one of these ribs. We'll have a cavity in the back side that will be printed as well, and then a skin on the outside. In between them will be filled with a herd from the industrial hemp plant, which is lightweight, very strong, and it'll it basically be hemp foam. This whole vehicle, this whole house. Someday could be a vehicle, but anyway, this whole house uh, will be made out of industrial hemp. All the materials made from from that, so we can grow the materials to make this home. Very this nice. This home will handle 300 mile an hour winds and impact from something at 150 miles an hour, like a two by four. Yes. And because it's lightweight in the design and it's filled with foam, if the tsunami hits it, it literally just lifts it off its foundation and it floats. Tethered to the ground? Tethered to the ground. Mm -hmm. And then you just have a simple winch when the water recedes, you pull it back down, it sits back down on its on its pedestal, mm -hmm. um, which you theoretically you could use as your garage. You could park your vehicles underneath it. So you, your cars get wet, but at least you're going to survive that harsh environment when that happens. Yeah. Uh, this is a two scale, it's 30 feet tall, it's 60 feet wide. 30 by 60? Okay. Mm -hmm. It'll hold eight people comfortably. Uh, this one here has two bathrooms in it, plus a little extra third deck at the top for an observation dome. Um, I designed this for my home, so what I wanted to have in it. It has a really nice big master bedroom with a sink area. Big living room. This whole bottom area here is all kitchen on this side and dining room. Okay. So, you know, you have a lot of room for guests, or you can have it as an office building. Um, one of the other things I wanted to do with this was if I wanted to, I could make it module. So instead of having where this flat top and bottom are, it's a tube all the way through. Mm. And now yeah, I can stack these and there's the entry is in the center of them in like an elevator. You okay. walk down through it. And we can make electromagnetic elevators so you can literally pull these things out and put a new house in, in its place. It could even be a two two apartments in, in one single unit there. You oh, know, yeah. each stop could be Bottom all. floor, top floor. Right. Yeah. Right. All the way up. Yep. So anyway. Very nice. It's just uh, another idea I could do with other than just having the the side door here. Just, no, this yeah. one here is something you just walk in this way. So yeah, it's it's been a a, a dream of, of of solution to make this work because it just. Originally when it first hit, which was Indonesia, I thought to myself, why are we still building homes in environments that, that can, can't handle that kind of environment? Wind and water coming Wind at you. Wind coming yeah. at you, especially, you know, hydraulics are very powerful. And then Hurricane Katrina, and I watched what happened there, and it's like, okay, this has got to stop. So mm -hmm. that was what initiated me to build this idea so I could show it to people. Um, so anyway, Floridians, Georgians, North Carolina, South Carolina. Spain. Spain. Spain just got hit by a huge flood. That's right, yeah. France. Didn't Italy get, yeah. Italy, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so basically our environment is changing. It doesn't matter why. It just, it, it's getting more harsh. We need to be smarter little rodents on this planet. We got to design our homes differently. Right. So, um, want to learn more about how to build these things and what to do or want to get involved in making this happen, please contact me or Spark at ZSR Solar or Zinoc.com. Thanks.